Big explosion out the back. Big, yeah, we got fish on, we got fish on. Are you joking, dude? Oh! Oh! Oh, yes! Woohoo! Look at that sunrise! Ow! What is going on, my doggies? Welcome back to another video and welcome to a slob chasing adventure. That right there is our bit of bait. It is a big garfish pinned with a couple of hooks and a skirt coming down to a big heavy trace. It's going to be getting flung around on the top of the ocean by a balloon. This morning we're chasing Spanish mackerel. Hopefully we can get one on the deck. I've been targeting these fish for the last, I don't know, week and a half and they're very, very hard to find right now. So hopefully today's the day, but there's the bait. Let's send this thing out, see if we can get a chew on it. That's it, doggy. It's party time. Go, buddy, go. What a bloody beautiful place to wake up. Have a go at this joint. Troopy set up over there. It is absolutely on point right now. There's not many more things that make me happy than doing what I'm doing right now. We've got a ballooning rod out the back there. We've got a garfish just perfectly skimming and skipping along the surface of the ocean. There's no one for miles that way. There's a car down there, looks like they're bait fishing, but they don't have balloons out. I don't know what they're doing, but bro, what a beautiful way to wake up. Look at this. Get f***ed. I think we got fish on. We got possible fish on already. Big explosion out the back. Big, yeah, we got fish on, we got fish on. I was having a sip of coffee and the rod just went bop, bop, and there was a massive, massive splash, 400 meters out under the balloon. We got fish on here. That sun has not even come up yet, brah. Oh, this is the best feeling on planet Earth. Problem is that you don't know what it is yet. Big explosion out the back, man. What is that thing? Oh, you piece of shit. That's not good. Talk about a bloody dog eat dog world. I got so excited just then. I was like, oh, we got a Mackie on. It feels like a Mackie. It's not too heavy like a shark. Look what it was. It was a shark. But this shark has something extremely unique to this shark. Ready? The shark ain't got no tail left, man. Another shark must have come through when I was fighting that and chewed the tail off of that shark right there. So obviously we're going to be eating this shark. I'm not going to put it to waste. I'm not going to throw it back. These are good eating at this size. But dude, I thought I had a Mackie on. Froth levels were so high and it's a bloody shark. But that's okay. These things are pretty good eating fresh. We can make some flake out of him. But look at that, man. There's a bigger, bigger shark out there. Obviously just chewed the tail straight off this one. As that for a chunk of meat? Took the fin off, took the head off, took the guts out, that right there. Beautiful bit of, bit of meat right there. Small shark, he's very nice, fresh I reckon. He's gonna be a good chewer. That bait is working so good right now. It's just sliding and slapping on top of the water. Hopefully, fingers crossed, a big Spanish comes through and chews that bait up. In the meantime, that bait's out there doing its thing. I'm going to be in the kitchen doing my thing. What we're we doing this morning? Need a bit of bacon and eggs for breakfast, mate. Treat yourself, eh? There's about 50 dolphins, probably 20 meters behind my bait, just passing to the south. Oh yeah. Now is this for a place to neck a little bit of breakfast? Tell you what mate, I don't, I, I must say this in every video, but I absolutely love doing this kind of thing. We're just gonna sit back, we're gonna watch that balloon. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, mackerel comes through, hook it up, and then we're gonna be eating. This would have been really good with a bit of shark in it, but we're gonna keep that shark for a little bit later on. So. Uh, I'll see you guys when that rod's bending. Oh! Here we go again. 
Good bloody morning, doggies. Welcome to round two, putting balloons out. It's the next day. Obviously yesterday, we didn't get no fish on the deck. I actually, the wind came in, I raced back home, I checked on Mac 10, she's good. Still baby inside. I don't know how, we still got, still got a baby inside, but it's legit. Any day, any second now, that Bob's is coming. So I am on call, phone reception all day. We'll be good where, I'm, where we're fishing today, but I'm letting the air down in the tires on the troop dog. That sun is just starting to come up. So um, I left home bloody early this morning. This is what we're doing. We're hitting the road, we're putting a balloon out. We've got a tiny, tiny window this morning of wind to get a fish on the deck. So if you guys haven't realized yet, I don't like being beaten. And we're gonna get a fish today. Today's the day. Strap yourselves in. We're getting a fish on the deck. Absolutely flogging the troopy along this beach. She's a bumpy old, rocky old track, this one, but once we get to the location, I'm gonna launch myself out of the car and set up this fishing rod. We're running a little bit late. Ideally, I'd love to have a fishing rod or a balloon out in the water just as that sun comes up. It was about this time yesterday we caught that shark. and We don't even have a bait in the water, which is not good. So we're running a little bit late, but it's all right. We're not too far off the destination. The one thing that does worry me a little bit is that uh, it's almost like a glass off out there. There's not much wind at all. So right now we are bootlegging it down this track, trying to get to the fishing spot. But if you guys can see out there, you probably can't. It's extremely calm. There's not a lot of wind around right now and it's not good. Look at it! Dude, let's go, man, let's go! This is the sexiest rod you're ever gonna see. Oh my, good morning, beautiful. How was your sleep, all right? You good? Let's go. This has never happened to me ever before. It's got a hole in it. I wonder if I can transfer this air to another balloon. Probably not. All right, we're going. Balloon up there. Look at this. Ha ha ha, stop it. See ya. Just like that, we're on. We're set up, balloons out there, doing its thing. That bait is just absolutely working perfectly right now. It's just doing that on the surface of the water. Look at it. All right, you guys know what time it is. You guys know what time it is. Are you joking, dude? Like, I'm right now. Right now there is a school of massive yellow fin tuna about 70 meters behind my balloon. If I can get this balloon out to those fish there, come on wind, get it, pick up. That is a big school of tuna right behind, probably 70 meters behind my bait. No man, you're joking. We just had a big splash. Something just come in and smoked that bait. The problem is that it, didn't get hooked up. I don't know what's going on, man. I'm exposing them hooks out of them garfish. That should have been a hook up just then, but it wasn't. Big splash. That garfish got ripped into two pieces, but we didn't set a hook, man. All right, we've got about 450 meters of line to wind in. There's the bait. It just got smoked by something. Obviously it came through. I've got all those hooks exposed in that guardy, and it didn't even bloody hook up. I'm gonna quickly get another one on and send it out. There's a heap of bait fish busting up just out the back, about 200 meters out. I've got to get out there real quick so we need to put another bait on. I'm going to put the drone up now so you guys can see it and I want to see it for myself. There's a bait ball like right there and it is getting busted up by heaps of fish and seagulls. Another one out the back there. There's another one down there. There's heaps of bait in the water. Water temperature's perfect. Ain't no fish, man. All right, let's put the drone in the air. Have a look at this bait ball. It's going spastic. Ow!
Holy shit! That big tuna, dude! Look at the size of these tuna in this ball! Alright, bro, there's tuna here, and they're big, man. They're coming up on the drone, which means they're quite decent sized fish. Look at the size of that tuna! Alright, we got tuna doggies. The wind's coming from the north. I brought my balloon in because it's really, really hard to get the to get the balloon out, but oi. You're seeing right now on the screen tuna. That'd be 15, 10 to 15 kilo, maybe bigger. All right, this is what we're gonna try and do. Right now we've got a northerly wind. The wind's coming from the north. It's the worst wind you could possibly want. When you're doing this style of fishing, you want the wind coming from the east. It's gonna blow your balloon out to the west, which is the ocean. Right now we've got wind coming from the north, which means it's gonna push our bait parallel with the ocean, with the, with the land. We don't want that. Those tuna are just out the back there, about 150 to 200 meters out over there. I'm gonna to try to send out a balloon. As the balloon's going, I'll run up the beach with the rod. See if we can put that bait in front of them tuna, because there's some big boys in that school, man. I don't know if this is gonna work. Big northerly wind, but I'm just gonna try. You never know if you never go. Come on, please work, please work, please work. I would do anything, anything right now but just a little bit of an easterly wind, just a little puff of easterly to get that bait out there. Oh! Righto! A couple of hours have passed since we've seen each other this morning. I've done a couple of things. I've gone bush. We collected a little bit of firewood because I've, I've just tweaked our itinerary just a little bit. What we're going to be doing now is we're going to be sleeping here the night. I just checked the weather reports. The report looks kind of good for the morning. So we're going to stay here. We're going to send a balloon out in the morning. I'm not going home until I get a fish on a balloon. And that's the end of story. So we've got firewood. We're going to be sitting around a good old fashioned campfire tonight. Down there, I've got a fishing rod with a big chunk of mullet. That's soaking out there in the ocean. If you guys want to cop one of these dope fishing flannels, make sure you go and bang fielddayshop.com. We've got hats. We've got hoodies. We've got fishing flannels. We've got heaps of stuff over there. Those hooded fishing jerseys that I was wearing this morning. We sold out overnight. So we've got a heap of them coming back in. So don't worry for those people who missed out. But if you guys want to cop some of your FDYS merch, make sure you go bang fielddayshop.com. All oh, right, let's bang the fishing shirt back on. Cause you and me, we're going for a bit of a steam. We're going on an adventure. What I'm gonna do is grab a medium sized setup. This is a 6,000 Stella. We're gonna walk down the coast with this Stella. We've got a 65 gram metal on there. I'm gonna walk as far as I possibly can until that sun goes down spinning that metal into the ocean. Because what I'm seeing with my eyes, it's unbelievable how much bait is in the water still. Oi, also, I found some of the most busted ass sausages in my freezer. There's a packet of sausages that's been in the bottom of my freezer in the car. God knows how long they've been in there. We're gonna be eating them for dinner if we don't get any fish, but we're gonna go try and get fish now. Also, have a go at this monstrosity in the background. Massive, massive, big rain clouds forming in the background over there. They weren't there before, so I don't know what's going on. We might get pissed on tonight. Hopefully not. Hopefully it doesn't change tomorrow's wind forecast because we need to get a fish on the balloon, but right now we're taking a medium setup. I'm gonna just walk the coast, flicking lures. Man, imagine a Mackie off the beach at sunset. Oh, stop it. Bah! Poo! Oh! Oh! Oh, yes! Look at the f***ing bait! Oh, excuse my language. Oh, there's bait. <laughs> there is bait getting busted up in casting distance up there. Go, go, go. Wait, not even shit near. There is a biggest bait ball getting smoked right now up here. All right, let's go. I've got about a 300 meter run in front of me, but it's gonna be worth it. Whoo! That'll get the bloody heart racing. I'm not sure where they are, they've gone deep. Sa! Pa! Sa! Ha! Sight! Busta! Sight! Whoo! Bro. Name a better place to be right now. Look at this. <laughs> it's not about catching fish, man. It's about the feeling I've got right now. Nothing beats it. Bust! Woo! Ah! Woo! Ah! Ooh! 
tell you what, doggies, we are absolutely struggling in the fishing side of things right now. I had to walk so far just then, flicking so many bloody lures around, and we didn't even get a tailor. Like, we didn't get anything. I don't know what's going on. But on the upside, we're absolutely crushing it on the living, living the dream side of things. Look at this, man. Are you kidding me right now? I got a million miles of beach that way and a million miles of beach that way with no one on it. Whole beach to myself, bang and sunset. I ain't complaining. Here we go. This is the setup for the Arvo. We've got a beautiful little fire roasting down here. Out the back there, we've got a fishing rod with a big chunk of mullet on it. We'll see how that goes. But that's home for the night. Beautiful little cooking fire happening. And down here, we've got something. We've got a couple of snags, which has been in the bottom of the freezer for, I don't even know how, how old these are. These are over a year, these are years old, man. But I've defrosted them. We're gonna give them a crack because right now, that right there is all the food we got. Just like that, dinner is served. We got these wraps from when we made that bacon and egg wrap for breakfast, which I'm pretty stoked about. What I'm gonna do, roll them up, fold the ends in, just like that. We got little pockets of goodness and that is dinner for the night. Oh, that right there actually isn't bad at all. Sausage in a wrap, that's all we got out here right now. What I'm gonna do is sit by the fire, hang out for a little while. I'm gonna set up all my gear for tomorrow morning. We're gonna be up early. Tomorrow is the day we get a slob on the deck. So, good night, doggies. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Hey, tomorrow's a day, man. It's going to be the day. That's oh, magic. Ooh. Good morning. Welcome to day three of chasing this slob off the beach. Couple of issues already. I woke up at four o'clock, pitch black. The, the wind was blowing from the west, which is, it's it's actually impossible to balloon with that kind of wind. Now, there's not a breath of wind. I've just set up a balloon. I'm not sure if you guys will see it, but there's a balloon up there in the sky and that balloon is just straight up. It's not even going out left or right, it's just straight up, which means there is not a breath of wind right now. So, I don't know what's going on with this forecast. It's meant to be howling easterlies this morning, but it's not, so. It is what it is. I had a bloody good sleep. Had a good feed around the fire last night. It was beautiful. Let's hope this wind turns on and um, we can get a balloon out there, but for now, we're just mercies of mother nature. I'm just sitting back waiting for the wind to pick up. So, I don't know. This is where we're at anyway. Beautiful morning. Have a go at this. Bro. Welcome to the kitchen. This morning, this morning took a turn for the worst. Very, very much sleepless night. The anticipation of getting a mackerel on the deck today was so high and that wind just did not play in our favor. There was not a breath of wind all morning and then it just blew from the south straight away, which ruined our day's fishing. Absolutely, completely ruined our day's fishing. But you know what? That's okay. Right now I am that hungry I could eat the ass out of a low flying duck and we have got some of the best grub right here. That is that shark that we caught at the start of the episode. I've been home, I've checked on Mac 10, I've got the shark out of the fridge, we're back down the beach, we're gonna cook this bad thing up. Here we go, big beautiful shark frame. Top fin gone, petrol fins gone, those little fins still there, tail gone, complimentary of a massive shark. You can see the teeth marks of that shark there where it just comes through and bit the tail off this shark. But we've got some bloody good eating food right here. What we'll do is we'll bring a knife straight down the back there. You just feel the bone. We're just going to slice, follow its backbone along. Flip that around, follow it again. Keeping that knife nice and low towards the back of the spine. Just like that. Bang, you can see the spine there. Put that to the side. Look at that meat. 
What we want to do is take that skin off the shark. If you've never felt shark before, that's like sandpaper. You could legit sand a bit of wood down with this stuff. But what we're going to do, this is a razor sharp knife. We're going to leave ourselves a little handle. Come in here, just like this. I'm just going to work it. Just like that. Here's that fillet of shark. Beautiful meat, look at that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take away this blood meat. We're gonna take away that inner gut lining there. We're just gonna trim it up a little bit. We'll get, get rid of, we just don't want that blood meat there. It's no good. Wrap your eyes around this thing. A big, beautiful fillet of shark meat. Beautiful. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a knife we're gonna come down on about a 30 degree angle. We're just gonna cut little chunks like this. Oh man. I'm actually that excited to eat this food right now. So we've got a bit of shark covered in egg. That's gonna go straight into that panko. We're gonna crumb it up. Just like this. That is a big crumbed piece of shark meat right there. We're just gonna keep the process going. Have a go at that. That is a tray of double dipped shark fillets. So it's dipped once, it's pancoed, it's dipped again in egg, and then it's pancoed again. So it's double dipped, double wrapped in panko. We've got a tray of hot olive oil down here. Oh, it's hot enough, it's hot enough, let's go. Boom. So right now you're probably thinking to yourself, yeah, right. I was just bloody cooking shark, just crumbed shark down the beach. No, 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 no. We got something inside the troopy cooking right now. And it's actually going to be a hell of a feed, dude. I'm actually really excited for it. You wait till you see what we got going on in here. Oh, golden brown goodness. Oh, that's going to be ridiculous. Have a go at the clouds right now. Looks like it's about to rain, there's no sun left. But oi, we're going into the back of the troop dog, have a look at this. Oh my goodness, they are perfect. We're gonna bust in a little bit of this goodness. A couple of lemons. And that right there, my doggies. That is one hell of a feast. Look at this, man. That is a tray of food if you've ever seen one. Those clouds are coming over, we've got absolutely no sun. It's probably gonna rain, and that rain is gonna be welcome. But that right there is a big, crispy piece of shark meat getting dunked into that tartare sauce. Bro. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? A little bit of lemon. Straight back into that sauce. Look at that. Whoa. Chips. That is off its head, bro. That's ridiculously good. This episode was actually a grind. Three days I was fishing for those bloody mackerel with a balloon. Didn't get nudder. One thing that makes me feel a little bit better, there was other guys fishing as well, they didn't get any fish either, so. Kind of lifts your spirits that little bit, but you know what this means, I'm not gonna be able to sleep at night. We're gonna have to go out and get a mackerel at some point. This little shark right here was just a bonus, but um, I'm not sleeping until I get that mackerel. That's the new mission. Anyway, doggies, I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna enjoy this food. It is absolutely bloody off its head. I just a little bit, a little bit of a checkup about Mac Ten. A lot of people have been asking. She's all good. The baby's still inside somehow. She actually went to the doctors today, and the uh, the doctor said it's everything's perfect. Everything's looking good. It's literally any day now. So if you guys are watching this video and I don't upload next week, maybe I'm a dad. Who knows? But that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, you guys know what to do. Look at that. I'm gonna sit here and smash his food, enjoy this, and hopefully the rain's come. Peace!
Yummy! I'm flogging it down this little beach here right now. It doesn't look like there's too much wind right now, actually. Like, right now, right now. If I say right now one more time, I'll give you permission to punch me straight in the nose, but, like, it doesn't look like there's much wind right now. I wanted to put a big dirty balloon out. Once we get on location, we'll have a look, but right now, Okay, now I'll do it again. Hey! <laughs> that was a balloon from yesterday. I knew that was gonna happen because I just threw it in the back of the car. I just lagged it down the beach, let about 50 meters of line out, and my 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 bait. Go again, idiot! We sold out in like one night, so that we're getting we got. Why don't you just eat the fucking lure? Just come and eat the fucking lure so I can have fish for dinner. It says with Margaret River. With, with, oh, that's hot. Fing dirty lens. Pig sty. Hey. Seriously, I should just work in a fish and chip shop because this pisses on any fish and chip shop I've ever eaten from. Look at that thing. Look at that. Look, dude! Are you f serious? 